developing overnight. The boom of this septic crash brought neighbors out into the street in southwest Philadelphia. They discovered a trolley lodged into a building. And officials now say it was a runaway trolley that somehow derailed with a mechanic on board. To make matters worse, that trolley slammed right into a historic site dating back to the revolution. Action News reporter Corey Davis is live now on the scene with the very latest. Good morning. Tam and Christy, good morning. So yeah, take a look behind us here. The hole right there uh, as this car passes by in this home here, this historic home uh, that's historically known as the Blue Bell Tavern. Uh, all of the pieces of wood and brick now scattered everywhere after the trolley went crashing into it. This is along Woodland Avenue right at the intersection of Cobb, Cobb Creek, Cobbs Creek Parkway and Island Avenue. Uh, still a lot happen, uh, happening out here at the moment. Uh, trolleys typically don't go very fast. The witness says it stopped at one point uh, as it did as it was supposed to, but then it picked up speed. Take a listen. About 40, 50 miles per hour. You would think that uh, this was a scene straight out of Will Smith's movie. Yeah, it was shocking for those who witnessed it. Uh, here's a look at surveillance video of the trolley crashing into a SUV and then slamming into the house. The trolley was out of service is what we're being told, but a mechanic was on board, but no one was driving it. We're told it was coming from SEPTA's Elmwood Depot at about a half mile away around 1045 last night. So uh, it somehow derailed, it struck the SUV, injuring two people inside and then slammed into the historic home. The woman who lives, a woman actually lives there, and she called 911 saying a trolley ran into her house. SEPTA officials say she wasn't hurt. We're told the mechanic on board was injured, but officials say none of the injuries at the scene were serious. The trolley is just about twice as long as the historic home that it crashed into. Uh, the SEPTA's chief operating officer telling us that he's never seen anything like this. Trolleys, particularly those in the city, travel at street speeds, which are relatively low speeds, 20 miles an hour or less. Uh, they're making very frequent stops. They're built uh, very sturdy. Um, they're, they're about 40-year-old cars, and they've been very durable and very reliable. Yes, yeah, SEPTA is working to get to the bottom of why this happened, because reliability now of focus. This is the fifth SEPTA crash in less than a week's time, beginning last Friday, when a 72-year-old passenger was killed after a SEPTA bus crashed into the back of another. More than two dozen injuries totaled between all of the crashes over the course of the week. And back live here, Woodland Avenue is open to traffic, but Cobbs Creek Parkway is closed right now. There's a Pico truck that's blocking it, uh, has a boom next to it with a uh, holding up that pole that was partially struck by the trolley. So we'll definitely keep you up to date as roads or are reopened. But now reporting live here in Southwest Philadelphia, Corey Davis, Channel 6 Action News. Christy. Yeah, the hits keep on coming literally for SEPTA. Corey, thank you.